Hello once again everyone, Original Blood Ace here, 2 in the morning, and here I am, finding myself doing another video. <sighs> well, one of my uh, fans, or subscribers, or whatever, wanted me to do a video talking about this. I posted it on uh, the OBA forums, but wanted me to talk about how Peter Moore from EA came out and debunked the whole uh, story the other day about... Wii U was dead to us right off the bat, blah blah blah. Now, as we can see here, Peter Moore says, Don't trust anonymous sources. Nintendo is a great partner. First of all, before I start dissecting this and, you know, criticizing Peter Moore and his idea of being a great partner, first of all, I must say, maybe what he means when he's saying Nintendo is a great partner means... Nintendo can be a great partner if you decide to work with them. Maybe he's not actually saying that they are partners right now. Maybe he's just saying, oh yeah, that, like, oh yeah, that company over there, yeah, 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 they're pretty good. They're a great partner if you worked with them, yeah. Maybe that's just what he's saying. But anyway, he says, that, well, Peter Moore, the chief operating officer of Electronic Arts, has taken to Twitter to speak out about the article published by CVG. The article had a quote from an anonymous source at the company who said that Nintendo was dead to us very quickly after the Wii U. However, CVG still stands by their article and says the source is a representative for EA, so who knows? Uh, but anyway, Peter Moore says, don't trust anonymous sources. Nintendo's a great partner. They never have been and never will be dead to EA. Now... I don't want this to turn into a rant. It's more of me going to be really slamming EA and Peter Moore here with facts, really. But could you explain to me your definition of a great partner or a good partnership? Because I believe the definition of a partnership is something along the lines of two parties working together for the greater good. Why do you partner up with someone and only have one side of the thing, or one side of the equation actually doing anything, which was Nintendo. Remember back in uh, E3 2011 and 2012, when they showcased the uh, the games reel at E3, and then EA was on there, and, and Peter Moore himself was in the video and talking about, oh, we, we just love the idea of the gamepad controller, and blah blah blah, what's it going to mean for Madden, drawing out plays on the gamepad and all that crap. Nintendo did put out an effort, but what did EA do? They stab Nintendo in the back, and you have the nerve, Peter Moore, to say that Nintendo is a great partner. We all know that you are partnered up, really, with Microsoft. Maybe this is the partnership. You align yourself with Microsoft to try and drag them down for Nintendo. Maybe that was what your partnership really was. You're like, all right, Nintendo, we're going to go undercover. We're going to partner up with Microsoft, put all of our shitty sports games on the Xbox One, and try and help drown out the competition. Bring down the Xbox One. I highly doubt it, but if that was, great plan, EA. Great fucking plan. But you say um, that you're a great partner. If that's true, where's all your shitty sports games on Wii U? Where's the Mass Effect trilogy that you put on... Uh, every other console but the Wii U when you gave us a crappy, broken, frame rate issue ridden piece of crap Mass Effect 3 when at the same time you did the trilogy uh, special edition or collector's edition on every other system that was actually cheaper. Huh? Where's, um, what is it called? Need for Speed, uh, what's the newest one called? Need for Speed something, uh, crap. Rivals, that's what it was. Where's Need for Speed Rivals? Not on Wii U. <clears throat> now, of course, you'll probably blame, Oh, the sales of Need for Speed Most Wanted uh, on Wii U didn't do too great. It's pretty typical for most third parties. Even if a great effort's put in, it takes an awful lot for a game to be able to match up sales-wise to Nintendo's. But at that point, being said, I'll play the devil's advocate here, and even Nintendo's own first-party sales have not been astronomically impressive, but have been decent uh, currently. But anyway, you say you're a great partner, or Nintendo's a great partner. Yet, where's all your games? They're not there. I don't know what kind of partnership you're doing. 
It seems your partnership is literally nothing more than you saying you're a partner, which is no different than me saying, oh, yeah, I'm partnered up right now with EA. Yeah, yeah, it's a great partnership. I love working with EA. <laughs> it's the same damn situation. I don't have any games that EA publishes. It's the same damn situation. You're a fucking liar, EA. You've won Worst Company in North America for two years in a row, and you will win it a third. I've read stories before you guys talking about, oh, we want to not win that anymore, we want to fix things. You have to do a lot to fix this. I'm going to ask you one thing. If you really were partnered up with Nintendo, do you think you would have won Worst Company in North America? No, you wouldn't. Sure, it wouldn't. I'm not saying it's Nintendo fanboys who are voting you Worst Company. I'm just saying no company partnered up with Nintendo is going to be named Worst Company in the World or North America. <sighs> anyway, EA's lying, as always. I don't really buy any of their crap. <sighs> the only thing of theirs that'll come to Wii U is Star Wars Battlefront because of Disney. They like Nintendo, they'll force EA to work with Nintendo. I'm Original Bloody, stay tuned. More videos coming soon, as always. Yeah, hi, I'm back again. I just forgot to add a little bit more to this uh, discussion. The one thing I wanted to say was, as I've said before and other people have said, the reason behind all this bullshit and deceit and lying and the real issue that we all know is the reason that EA has been so distant and so absent from the Wii U is because of the origin issue. EA was brought in by Nintendo to help them make the online for the Wii U, aka the Nintendo Network. It turned out to be good. EA liked it. They wanted to take it and merge it with Origin, their own system. Nintendo was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We brought you in to help us make this. You can't just take it away. Otherwise, we don't have anything. EA got mad. And EA has never since been with Nintendo, has not wanted to support them or anything. And then one other little blip I just wanted to quickly add was I've seen people in this type of situation bringing up, I think it was even in the other article, this supposed anonymous EA representative or whatever who had brought up uh, how Nintendo was being kiddy uh, and all their games were kids and, and EA doesn't do kid games and all that. And they even brought up Activision. They're like, we're like Activision. We don't target the kid demographic, or whatever it was he said. You can't trash talk another company and drag it in. Well, it's not trash talking. They, you can't drag in a company and use it as an example when you're using it wrong. You know, Activision has come out and said, we want Wii U to succeed. We are supporting it as best as we can, even though the only key thing that they're missing on the Wii U from Activision is fucking Destiny, which, come on, give us fucking Destiny, Activision. Do it, do it, do it. But anyway, Activision supports Wii U, and you're, and I'm going to prove it. You say Activision doesn't do, do the whole kitty thing? Hello, Call of Duty is played by kids. That's even on Wii U. And people say, oh, they're worse than EA. No, they're really not. They're taking advantage of people's stupidity for buying COD every year, which you can't blame them. You're not, if you're want to be in the business to make money, you're not going to just say, uh, you know, you're not going to take advantage of fucking idiots. But another thing, Skylanders targets the kids. It's on Nintendo systems. It's not exclusive, but it sells reasonably well. Activision is not like you, EA. EA is just fucked up and stupid and broken all over the board. Activision is just a greedy, money-hungry uh, hound or whatever. I don't even know if that makes sense. I'm getting so fucking tired. <laughs> uh, not quite as greedy as, say, Microsoft, money-wise, but Capcom puts their shit on everything because it gives them more money in the end. <sighs> so you can't say that Nintendo is only for kids and that Activision doesn't do that, doesn't target Nintendo either. They do. Activision is pretty friendly with Nintendo. They're friendly with everybody. Now, of course, Activision is not as amazing as they used to be. Uh, in the N64 and the GameCube days, they were actually a hell of a lot better company. But Activision is still a decent 
company. Call of Duty is their only flaw, but I mean, that's just... How do I phrase it? Opinion, really. I mean, well, it, I mean, it's fact, but it's also opinion in the sense that uh, if you like Call of Duty, I guess it's not a flaw. But to the people out there who, you know, realize that COD's a fucking issue and a, a negative thing in the gaming industry, that's the only thing you can bash Activision on is their stupidness with Call of Duty. Pretty much with everything else, Activision's not that bad of a company. Uh... I mean, they've done a few kind of, eh, decisions and stuff in the past, but EA's still worse. Capcom's being really fucking stupid also these days. Anyway, now I'm going to end the video, so now I'm Original Blood Ace. As always, make sure you stay tuned. More videos always coming soon, as always.